When animals suffer from a pathogenic infection that they are unlikely to be able to fight off on their own, they deserve appropriate treatment. However, it is important to remember that antibiotics are only effective against bacteria and not against viruses, parasites and fungi. Therefore, applying antibiotics to these types of problems is not only wasteful and costly, but it can also lead to the unnecessary release of antibiotics into the environment, thereby accelerating the process of antimicrobial resistance, AMR. In order to determine the appropriate antibiotics, it is essential to first define the type of bacteria that is affecting your fish. In aquaculture, seasonal changes such as high temperatures often cause similar problems every year. Preventative measures may help in reducing the severity of the problem, but complete avoidance is not always possible. It is always advised to do a proper diagnostic of the problem prior to initiating treatment, as improper usage of antibiotics can lead to AMR. The best practice for antibiotic usage is to follow a step-by-step -step approach. The first step is to get a proper diagnosis of the bacterial disease that is affecting your fish. Then, a veterinarian must determine the correct antibiotic and dosage needed to treat the specific bacterial disease. The dosage is strongly dependent on the biomass in the production unit. The next step is to apply the antibiotics to feed through top coating. Antibiotics in aquaculture are most effective when mixed through feed. The addition of antibiotics to water has been shown to be ineffective, as they won't reach the gut of the fish since they do not ingest the antibiotics floating in water. Mixing the antibiotic powder with feed and adding a fish oil coating gives the best results as it ensures that the powder sticks to the feed pellets. The fish oil coating masks any off flavour that the antibiotics may cause and increases the palatability of the feed to make sure the feed gets eaten quickly. To optimise a good feed intake at the start of the treatment, it is advised to starve the fish for 24 hours prior to initiation, as this will increase their appetite. Finally, it is essential to complete the recommended treatment. The duration of a treatment is typically around 8 to 12 days at the recommended dose. Do not reduce or increase the dose. If, after 15 days of treatment, there is no improvement, stop the treatment, analyse the fish again and re-diagnose. Always use gloves, safety goggles and a face mask when handling antibiotics to avoid direct contact. Avoid mixing of various antibiotics together in one treatment, as it increases the chance of creating resistant bacteria, causing future infections to be more difficult to treat. Farms should keep a register of antibiotic movements and use. When fish are given antibiotics, it takes time for the drugs to be metabolized and eliminated from their bodies. This period is known as the withdrawal period. As a farmer, you want to avoid harvesting fish that still contain antibiotic residues, as this may lead to humans being exposed to antibiotics which could affect their own gut bacteria and contribute to the development of AMR. In animal production, using antibiotics can sometimes not be avoided, as without them, animals may suffer or die. However, it is vital that antibiotics are used responsibly and only after the type of bacteria causing the infection has been defined. Overuse of antibiotics can lead to antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which can harm you, your family and future generations.